All right, we have episode number three. I guess we were the first episode on the trapezium rule. The second episode is episode number three. We are still trying to appreciate the formula we derived. So use a trapezium rule with five ordinates to estimate the area bounded by the curve y equals to 4 divided by 1 plus x squared, the x-axis and the line x equals to 0 and y equals to what? 1. Uh, x equals 1. So this is the area bounded by the curve and the x-axis ranging from 0 to 1. If it to be direct integration. Alright, but you can see there is no integral sign here. So we need to find the integral. We know that this is going to be integral from the lower limit to the upper limit 4 on 1 plus x squared dx. So this is what we are asked to uh, find its exact value or approximate values of. Remember the tutorial we have. They've mentioned ordinates. They've not mentioned sub-interval. So our n, which is the stripe, will not be the exact value we are using. So from here, the V, which is the height, is going to be B minus A divided by N minus 1. We are going to divide by the N minus 1 because they've not mentioned the stripe, no sub-interval, but rather the ordinate, the interval itself. Alright, so this can be calculated as the upper limit, 1, lower limit, 0, Number of stripes, we were told 5 minus 1. That will be 1 over 4. So that will be giving us 0 0.25. So that is a sub interval, the width of the, uh, the, how do you call it, the trapezium that we are going to be having. So what would that be? Let's generate the table and see how we can put that into it. Okay, so the table is going to be like this, but let me walk you through how. We get all these numbers. After we got our the length of the, the weed, don't forget that is what is showing the interval. That's the number of stripes we are having. So if you pick your lower limit, the lower limit plus the interval. So 0 plus 0 0.25. The next one. 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25. 0 0.50 0 plus 0 0.25. Plus 0.25. You move until you get to your upper limit. So it's from 0 to 1. I am adding 0 0.00 because these ones are in two decimal places. So the next thing to do, there are two ways you can do that. You can write a table of four rows. Four will be here throughout. Then one will come, then x will come. The or x squared. So that you add all by four. Then you divide them by 1 plus x squared. It's the same thing. But I would prefer to do all together because of space that I don't have on the board. So now I'm putting 4 over 1 plus x squared in the calculator. Then I'll be changing the position of what? Of x by these numbers. I don't have to change everything. So I'll just change the where the x squared is, which will be 0 squared to be 0, then 4 divided by what? 0 will give us uh, 4, right? So I'll be having 4.00. Then I have to put the 0 0.25 also at where I have the x. And that, that will be giving you 3.764. 3, okay, then we do same for all of them to get the values you are looking for. So if you put in the values well, you will be arriving at the same values that we have, just replacing the x by the x values. So we can say that by the trapezium rule, we are having area equals to Half age, y not plus y n plus twice y one 
y2 up to yn minus 1. Remember, we derived this in the first episode. So what do we do? We only replace this the first one. So y0, y1, y2, y3, y4. So the area become 1 over 2 times the height. What do we have the height to be? 0 0.25. That is multiplying the first one, which is 4, plus the last one, which will be 2. In this case, the addition will not bring any change. So I'm just writing 4 and 2. Then plus 2. This will be 3.763. This will be 3.2. The zero zeros will also not have any problem. Plus 2.559. So what do we do? We add this to get 6. We multiply this. Then we add the terms in the bracket out there. So your area will become 0 0.5. And that will be 0 0.125 multiplying. This is going to be 6 plus. In that bracket, you have 3.763 plus 3.2 plus 2.559 and that will be giving you 9.522 let's we are multiplying that by 2 so 9.522 so now we are multiplying this then we add the 6 to it so we have 0 0.125 times this will be giving you 19 point something plus this will be 25.044 so we are going to multiply this value by 0 0.125 and now we will be giving you 3.1305 but we are leaving the area in how many decimal places you okay we have not been told so we can leave it in three or four decimal places as square square unit so we can see the procedure we fall on in this episode is different from the episode number two but this concept and the concept before were all explained in the first episode so feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. Feel free to share the video with somebody who might also benefit. Subscribe if you have not and like the video after watching.